Bristol. I'm... It's been a long week. Uh, it is the Harbour Festival this weekend, uh, which is a big event. Hundreds of thousands of people will come to Bristol to see stuff and buy stuff and wander around a bit. Uh, and uh, hopefully praying the weather will be good don't forget bbc radio bristol hosting a new music stage by the ss great britain it's our third year of being at that part of the harbour festival it's great fun uh, steve doing it on sunday uh, and laura's out there on sunday as well and steve yabsey's there tomorrow along with me don't let that put you off now have you ever heard this phrase yeah that's all very well and good but i'm too old for that sort of stuff well, that doesn't apply, and maybe for you it doesn't apply, because Ricky from Avonmouth is taking part in something rather special at the Harbour Festival, and Ricky is with me here in the studio. Happy birthday. Thank you, John. It is your birthday today, isn't it? It is today, yes. And how old? I'm 66 today. OK. And what are you doing at the Harbour Festival? Well, water sport is uh, going to be what I'm looking for. Mm. Um I'm going to try the canoeing out first to see, right. see how I get on with that. Right. Um, so, uh, and that's my main aim. I've, I've done canoeing before when I was younger at school, a long time ago, but mm. um, I'm not looking at it. The canoes look a bit different now. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> were your canoes made out of wood? Were they, they were fashioned out of a single log? <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost, but they were they were put together with wire and, uh, and epoxy resin. So. Oh, yes. I, I'm trying to remember making those at yeah, school. Yeah, it was we like did. fiberglass, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's correct. Um, but they're obviously they're a lot... lot uh, it's the moulded out of plastic they're now. They're moulded now and a lot lighter and easier to handle. So... Um, I'm looking forward to having a go at that one. Now, this is uh, there's a lot happening with Linkage uh, yes, and all the, uh, throughout the summer about yes. encouraging people to get out yes. and do things and enjoy themselves. Definitely. There's a massive campaign. I got all the information last week, mm -hmm. um, and that's about getting people like you, Ricky, yeah. who are in their sixties, yes. doing things that are not something that you probably would think about. Yeah, it's correct. That is correct. Have you ever said, I'm too old for that? Um, not exactly too old, mm. but I would think twice about doing certain things like what? because what of think, my age. What would you think twice about doing because well, of your age? Um, I wouldn't like to, because I've never done it, I wouldn't like to say train up to do a marathon or anything right. like that. Okay. But... I would get on a bike and I'd run forever on a push bike because I've always done it. I used to go to work on my bike. So it's something that I would willingly do. So do actually then, Ricky, is this not actually about, not that you're too old for it, mm -hmm. that's an excuse. It's because you've never done it. I would agree with that. That is correct. Because there is a, you know, I always like, I don't know about you, I like to play this game of, in life of reason versus excuse. There are reasons not for doing things. Um, if you don't like heights, why on earth would you want to do abseiling? Uh, because that, that might be, you know, people are saying, well, that's confronting your fear. Well, I have a fear, and I don't really want to confront that fear, because actually that fear is quite practical. Throwing yourself off a rock face yeah. on a piece of rope to me yeah. seems silly. But that could also be an excuse. Yes. Could also could be, be an excuse. Yeah. And I just, you know, the age thing, I want to offer that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. I don't think the age thing has hit me too hard at the moment. Um, 66 in today's figure in. Middle aged. Say, You're middle aged. Is, <laughs> you know, I'm just sort of um, loosening up, so to speak. But, um, yeah, I, I know in, in the real world I, I'm going down that road of life. And 66, and I'm pretty fit. Um, I'm quite happy with things. And I, because for that reason, I want to try other things while I'm still able to. Okay. And I think the longer that I do go doing things, the, the healthier I'm going to be. And this is, I suppose, the old argument, isn't it, Ricky, about use it or lose it? That is correct. Yeah, yeah. I know that's one of the, yeah. the, the drives of yeah. Linkage, yeah. which is encouraging me to yeah. keep you active, keep you going. You yeah, and also you, you have to keep doing it. Mm. You don't stop because it's harder to get back on again if you fall off the bike you know it mm. takes a bit of time so you've just got to keep going and what's you know, your what, what's your what's your background what did you do what are you doing to uh, I, well i'm retired now yeah. i retired in 2009 mm. i worked all my working life i worked for the port company mm. uh Ava Mac, first of all for the pba yeah port Bristol authority um and then later on i worked at portbury um mm. when portbury opened and uh, I was man and boy at the port. Mm. Um, I started in 1963. Um, 
as a messenger boy yeah. at the age of 15, and I finished in 2009. So uh, I'm not a mathematician. Not, as, me- me- not as a messenger boy, I hope. <laughs> no, I, I managed to climb, climb that, that famous ladder that everyone talks about. The greasy pole. I, I climbed up that, and um, I, I was quite happy with my lot. Yeah. It's a wonderful place to work. Mm. There's some really great people there. It's an in, very important hub, not only from the point of view of the West, but it's also, you know, it's a huge commercial hub. You just yes. have to go over the flyover of your mouth yes. and see what that means from the point of view of cars. And it's not just cars, is no, it? No, no, no. That's, that's a, a big part of the, yeah. um, the port now, is, uh, cars. But uh, And over the years, things have changed quite dramatically within the port industry. Mm. Uh, containerization etc so we you know the, the port company have had to go with that it belongs to the to a private concern now Bristol port company so um but you see the ships i see the ships because i live at, um uh-huh. live in uh, on nor road in port oh, so right. i see the boats yes. coming up and down the grimaldi yes. liners and oh, yes, all yes. that coming up and down there it's, Fence, it's like christmas sometimes Fence, all the lights. Of those. yes absolutely and um, it's busy i mean it's it is bi- and cruising of course now yes of course uh, from from yeah. um haven mouth and if is, i had a pound for every time I moved the car off of one of those boats. <laughs> we were able to buy a nice car myself. Hey ho! Um, we're going to talk about what else uh, yes, is available for for uh, yeah. for Linkage and indeed yes. the Harbour Festival. What yes. people can do. Uh, Ricky from Avermouth uh, uh, is here. He is canoeing at the at the uh, water um, at the water festival, the Harbour Festival. I've also got Claire Miller, who's been on the programme before from Linkage. More from them both after Etta James. <laughs> One minutes past 11. So the Harbour Festival this weekend, a chance for lots of people to try lots of things. Of course, there will be a hog roast. you always got to find the hog roast at the Harbour Festival. You may want to try some of the things that Ricky from Avonmouth is doing. It's being uh, supported by Linkage. And this is about you doing things that you think, I'm too old for that. Wrong, you're not. Give it a go. As Ricky is doing at the age of 66. And let's bring in Claire Miller from Linkage. And we were talking during Atta James. And this is actually almost the other side of our big phone in this morning this it's right to die this right to choose is that the older you get there is a perception that you shouldn't be doing things or that's not for you or i am too old i'm too old for that and that that's beginning to change now isn't it yeah, definitely. I think it's being challenged. I think people haven't had always the opportunity to try stuff, so that's why we're so excited about um, these water sports with All Aboard. Um, it was actually All Aboard that initiated all of this. They a got local charity, All Aboard. Local isn't it? charity, yeah, and it's on uh, Cumberland Road, mm. which is just next to the Cottage Pub. Um, they went out. They want to bring water sports to everybody. So it isn't just um, people who have got particular interest. They wanted to open it up to families and to older people. Mm. They managed to get funding from Sport England, and then they're working with the Royal Yachting Association, Canoe England and British Rowing, Mm. to bring sport to people. And you look at what we've got in Bristol. We've got this amazing resource of the harbour. And you see people canoeing, and you might go, oh, that looks really, really nice. Mm. Now we are giving the people the access to actually do that themselves. Because that's, that's always one of the things, isn't it, Ricky, is that you see someone doing something, and you think to yourself, I wonder how they did that. And that's, a, you know, that's the moment. And then, you know, real life kicks in. Oh, yes, I've got to get that pint of milk. Uh, and then, you know, <laughs> well, you're laughing because that's yeah. what it is, yeah, isn't it? Great, you right. see, and you think, you know, and real life takes over. Yeah. And this is an opportunity. Would yes. you have considered canoeing? Would you have considered this? Um, no. If I'm honest, I wouldn't have thought about canoeing. I, I'm doing other things. Yes. But the opportunity for canoeing came along, and I'm going to definitely find some time for that. So that this is go. taking you out of what... I, I, mean, I get I get the, the feeling from you, Ricky, yeah. that you're not a man who's got a comfort zone, but I'm getting this, this is taking you beyond, perhaps, where you would have gone. That is correct, yes. Yeah. I, I think it's um, something that needs to be... I need to try and do it while I still can. I don't mean that in a in a, a way that you know tomorrow. Well, there, there, there is a reality to this. You know, naturally, you find your body changes, your yes, your, that's correct. your ability to do things that change. Mm-hmm. But that will that progression will be quicker if you don't do it. In the, you know, if you're not keeping yourself actually I, active. I, in the first I place. agree with that completely. Yeah, you you must keep keep active. And, Keep mobile. Well, we know this, but yes. research only in the last week has been published that a third of, in fact, it was published on Monday, that a third of all people with Alzheimer's yeah. needn't have got Alzheimer's if they had 
looks after themselves better, that there is a causal link between how you look after yourself and what you do with yourself, uh, smoking, drinking, exercise, that sort of thing, yeah. and, and the progression of Alzheimer's. And this is the nub of this, Claire. This isn't just Ricky having a jolly in a canoe <laughs> at the Harbour <laughs> Festival. This is about showing and giving opportunity yes. to try things, to explore things, to expand horizons beyond the, I'm too old for this. Yeah, and it's people, you know, are rightly quite, there's a lot of trepidation in trying new things and so we want to ease people into it and so um the thing that ricky's going to do is actually on the monday it's not actually over the harbour right, festival okay, weekend apologies, yeah. that's cool um it's an open day from 10 30 to 3 30 at all aboard which is uh, cumberland road people can have a look round. they don't have to get in a boat they can see what's involved they can meet the team they can chat to people and they can size it up and judge it then if they want to get into a boat they can and it's about trying to make things accessible for people. People can make their mind up and then they can give something a go. Because if you have lost a wee bit of confidence, you need to have the opportunity to make your mind up about something before committing. So it's, it's what we do with everything we do. We do a lot of taster ses sessions and open days. Give people the opportunity to have a look, size it up, and then they can make an informed decision on whether it is something that they'd like to have a go at. So we just encourage people to come along to the open day on Monday with an open mind, meet the people check it out and I think it's going to be another hot day so it's quite a nice thing to do mm. messing around on boats in the harbour side uh, but come along and just have a look see what you think and then you know do have a go and uh, the, um, all aboard are quite um, respected for sailability which is a uh, disabled I think sailing. they helped to Blair Blair Hannon haven't they the, yeah. the uh, aspiring Paralympian sailor yeah. um, she's been on this programme and well, they do have accessible boats though so you know there's no excuse not to have a go if you if you want to have a go we can support you want to find out more Linkage punch that into a search engine of your choice uh, and all aboard punch that in as well you'll find out more Ricky uh, good luck with the canoeing on uh, Monday Thank you, great to hear that you're giving it a go happy birthday for today Claire right. Miller from Linkage I know you've got loads of things coming up throughout the throughout the uh, the summer for people to try, have a go at and, 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 and enjoy. Yeah, and quite a lot of exciting intergenerational activities, so that's bringing the generations together, yeah. joint cooking, joint art, getting people, giving people the opportunity to get to know each other. I've read the brochure. So, it's, 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 so it's, yeah, it's, lots coming up. Comprehensive programme, I think, would be the best way to describe it. Linkage, put that into the, the search engine of your choice. Claire Miller, from Linkage. Ricky, happy birthday from Avonmouth. Thank well, you, not from Avonmouth, but you know, yeah. you are from Avonmouth. Happy <laughs> birthday, that would have been better. Thank you. <laughs> Radio Bristol. People living at the block...